This video will explain the math behind the examples so that you will gain a greater understanding of why the examples work out. So let's get started now on MathCat. Three, two, one. In this lesson, we're going to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. Greatest common factor is used when reducing fractions. And it's similar to the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple is used to find common denominators in fractions. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at greatest common factor. We'll start by an example. Let's find the greatest common factor of 24 and uh, 36. First step is to find the prime factors for each number. That is a factor tree. So 24, we break it into two factors. We can use 6 times 4. You can use 12 times 2. It doesn't matter. We're going to have the same prime factors at the end. 6 can be factored 3 times 2. And 4 can be factored 2 times 2. And those are the prime factors for 24. Whether you start with 12 times 2 or 6 times 4 doesn't matter. You'll end up with the same numbers at the bottom, maybe in different order. Let's do the prime factor tree for 36. 36 is 6 times 6. And 6 is 3 times 2. And this 6 is 3 times 2. Or you could start with 9 times 4 and you'd end up with the same prime factors in different order. Now that we've found all of the prime factors for each number, to find the greatest common factor, we want to find all the numbers that are common to both lists. So, in this list we have a 2. I'll use a different color. We have a 2 here and a 2 here, so we'll use 2. And in this list, we have another 2 and another 2. So we'll use another 2. We're finding the common prime factors. And in this list, we have another 2. And over here, no more 2s. So we don't use that 2. Just cross it off. Now we'll do our 3s. In this list, we have a 3. And in this list, we have a 3. So we'll use 3. Okay, we're done here. We have one more 3 here, but no matching 3s, so we don't use that. So now we just multiply. The greatest common factor, then, is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 3, which is 12. 12 is the greatest common factor for 24 and 36. And to check that, 12 times 2 is 24, and 12 times 3 is 36, and in fact, 12 is the largest number that will go evenly into both 24 and 36. So it's called the greatest common factor. Let's try another example. Find the greatest common factor for 8 and 12. Well, we'll find the prime factors for each number. 8 can be factored 4 times 2, and 4 can be factored 2 times 2, and 2 is prime, so we'll bring that down. 12 can be factored 6 times 2, and 6 is 3 times 2, and 2 is prime, so we'll bring that down. So there's our prime factors for both lists. So to find the greatest common factor, we'll start finding numbers that are in both lists. Here we have a 2, and there's 2, so we use our 2, cross it off. Here we have a 2, and over here we have another 2, so we'll use another 2, cross it off. Here we have a 2, over here no more 2's, so we'll just cross that off without using it. And in this list we have a 3, but over here no 3's, so we'll cross off the 3. So the greatest common factor for 8 and 12 is simply 2 times 2, which is 4. And to check that, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12, and in fact 4 is the greatest number that is common to both 8 and 12, so it's the greatest common factor. 
Let's find the greatest common factor for 45 and 120. We'll start by creating a prime factor tree for each number. 45 can be factored 9 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. And 5 is prime. 120, well, 10 goes into 120 because it ends in 0. So it would be 12 times 10 is a good place to start. 12 is 4 times 3. 10 is 5 times 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. And we'll bring these prime numbers down at the same level. So the greatest common factor, well, we'll find numbers that are common to both lists. In this list, we have a 2. In this list, there are no 2s. So we can eliminate all of our 2s. There is a 3 in this list, and there's another 3 in this list, so we'll use the 3. Cross off those. There's a 3 in this list. No more 3s in this list, so we'll cross that one off. And there's a 5 in this list and a 5 in this list, so we'll use the 5. So the greatest common factor for 45 and 120 is 3 times 5, which is 15. To check our work, 15 times 3 is 45. And 15 times 8 is 120. We'll do another example. Find the greatest common factor for 84 and 210. We'll start by finding the prime factors for each number. 84, well, it's even, so we'll go 2 times 42. And 42 would be 2 times 21. And 21 is... 7 times 3. And those numbers are all prime. 210, well, ends in 0, so we know 10 goes into 210. 21 times. And 10 is 5 times 2. And 21 is 7 times 3. And these numbers are all prime. So there's our two lists of prime numbers. For the greatest common factor, We'll find numbers that are in both lists. We'll start with 2. There's a 2 here, and there's a 2 here. So we'll use 2. And there's another 2 here, and there's no more 2s here. So we won't use that 2. There's a 3 in this list, and there's a 3 in this list. If you notice, I go up in numerical order just so I can keep track of where I'm at. Cross off the 3s. Uh, then in this list, there's a 5, and in this list, there are no 5s. In this list, there's a 7, and in this list, there's a 7. So we can use the 7. So the greatest common factor for 84 and 210 is 2 times 3, which is 6, times 7, which is 42. 42 would be the greatest common factor. And 42 times 2 is 84. 42 times 5 is 210. And in fact, 42 is the largest number that goes into both 84 and 210. So it is the greatest common factor. Let's do one more example. Find the greatest common factor of 60 and 80. Well, 60 ends in 0, so we know 10 goes into 60. 10 times 6. And 10 is 5 times 2. And 6 is 3 times 2. Those numbers are all prime. 10 goes into 80. 10 times 8. 
10 is 5 times 2, 8 is 4 times 2, 5, 2 is prime, 4 is 2 times 2, and those are the prime factors for 80. So we'll find the greatest common factor. Well, there's a 2 in this list and a 2 in this list. So we'll use 2. And there's another 2 in this list and there's another 2 in this list. So we can use 2 again. There are more 2's here, but there are no more 2's here. So we'll cross off those 2. There's a 3 in this list, but there are no 3's here. So we'll cross off the 3. And there's a 5 in this list and a 5 in this list, so we can use the 5. So the greatest common factor for 60 and 80 is 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 is the greatest common factor. And to check that, 20 times 3 is 60. And 20 times 4 is 80. So 20 is the largest number that goes into both 60 and 80, so it's the greatest common factor.